Rural Heritage on RFD TV is brought to you by Rural Heritage Magazine, a bi monthly magazine featuring articles about farming and logging with draft animal power, small scale diversified family farming and homesteading, and other aspects of our rich rural heritage. Rural Heritage Magazine, borrowing from yesterday to do the work of today. For subscription information, please call 319 362 3027 or order online at www.ruralheritage.com. I'm Vance Redden from Ray, Colorado. Uh, we're having a horse-drawn draft show or play day at Bird City, Kansas. Tri-State uh, Museum, I guess is what you would call it. I have this once a year. Uh, we just come and have a bunch of us together and we like to play with our horses and have fun and, and Once in a while during the, the year we see one another three or four times a year and this is the only time we get to see some of them so We have uh, uh, I believe it's a sandwich power unit four horse or four teams uh, we run it with a four-hole international corn shelter, and uh, we have several burr grinders that we that we grind the whole corn with, and uh, we have a sorghum press. We're actually pushing the, the juice out of the cane and cooking it. it. Takes about four hours on the cooking uh, to make your your syrup. And then they're doing like uh, plowing and disking and, and several events out south on the fields. We did have a team race, we had an obstacle course and a pole race. We started three years ago, I believe we started with uh, maybe five teams. And today I think we've got 16 or 17 teams. And they're not all from right around here, No, are they? we've got some as far away as Illinois. Uh, I visited with him, he's like 640 miles from home. Uh, several from eastern Kansas, eastern Colorado, Nebraska. Uh, it, it, it's fun, it, it just keeps getting bigger. First one coming through the parade is Aaron Zion, guys. He's from Holyoke, Colorado. Uh, he's got the uh, Parisian, Persian on the The name of these horses is Jill and June, I think that's right. Next team coming through is Todd and Christina Reed. Uh, they're from Manager, Nebraska. Or Kansas, excuse me. Mittville, Kansas, excuse me. I'm having a hard time here. Anyway, they have the half slingers in front of us and the nice, nice little conceited buggy. Name for Jack and Jill. Makes it. And November on the back. Next team coming through will be Dan and Joni Carter. They're from Loomis, Nebraska. They got the first draw. And the names are Stanley and Bo. Six and five years old. Oh, Larry Overy. He comes to us from uh, Blue Hill, Nebraska, guys. Who we have the mules? They're nice mules right there, guys. They're really nice. Next coming through will be uh, Joel Prowl. He's from Troy, Kansas, guys. He's got to put on the kids. Uh, the names are Babe and Belle, 14 years old. Next team comes through, William and Cecil Edwards. They're from Waverly, Illinois. What time did you get up this morning? Yeah. Real early. He made her, thank heaven. They got the first draw again. Jojo, he's great. 15 and 16 years old. I don't know why that guy looks so honorary to me. He sure does. You can tell by looking from honorary. Larry Whitman, he's uh, from the agency, Missouri. Is that right? Agency, Missouri. We come from quite a ways too, guys. We got the crossbreed, and the names are uh, Fanny and Fred, 13 and 14 years old. Larry Jurgens will be next coming through, guys. He's from Farnham, Nebraska. Uh, he's got the mule right there. Two of them. Nice man mule, 12 and 10 years old. Her name is Jackson Jefferson. Yeah, that's the breed of horses of Fjords, and they are, who owns them is Valerie Engelkin. Is that right? Hey, 
Washington, and she is from St. Joe, Missouri. My gosh, they come from a long ways away. Did you get a motel room here in Bird City? <laughs> I believe I'd have brought my trailer too. Okay. Their names are Dutch, Oki, and Cody. Nine, eleven, and eight. Next team is uh, Jarrett Wagner from Franklin, Nebraska. She's uh, got quarter Belgian. Their names are, if I read this right, is that Red, Lila, and Baxter. Four, fifteen, and fourteen years old. Eli Avery, coming from West Portland, Kansas. They got the Percherons right there. They're big. Sally, Kate, 14, 14 years old. And I didn't get the name of the dog. Hollywood. Hollywood. Yellow Labs, how's that? Okay, these two teams are coming together now. Okay, and the wagon is uh, the name of, well, let's see, they're from St. George, Kansas. I never heard of St. George, did you, Butch? That's quite a ways away. They got the first wrong, also 15 and 15 years old. Nice wagon. And the next one, oh, no hurt yourself, no. This is Kristen up on the horses. They're Belgian guys. Chris and Barney are their names, 12 and 13 years old. Chris, you remember when we used to do silly crap like that? You know why we quit, don't you? Next one is Kevin and Deb Vernon. They're from Columbus, Nebraska. And uh, horse is Red Rum Belgian. Three up, nice, nice team there. Charlie, Joe, and Sandy, 15, 16, and 10 years old. Next one up, please. You might know Lance and be trailing. If you don't have Missy out there pushing you. He's kind of the one that had a lot to do with putting this thing on for the tractor show it. I'm glad you did, man. It's created a quite a deal for this fall event. They're from Ray, Colorado. They got the Persian on guys right there. Babe and Honey, 11 years old and 13. And this is his wife in here with me, helping me get through all this stuff. My wife and I, uh, we're farmers here from Bird City. We own a farm. And uh, this barn was on our farm. And uh, the Hendrix people, we sold the house and buildings too. We've traveled for 20 years, 148 countries. We escorted 530 tours to 148 countries around the world. We were on 500 airplane flights in the last 20 years. And we're, we're farm kids. I've got 12,000 hours on a farm tractor here. <laughs> but anyway, let me show you around. Uh, we have the museum uh, broke into 12 sections of the world. And so, Antarctica, Africa. While we're here, we have 1,900 fridge magnets. Half of them are here and half of them are down at the other end on another four by eight. Here's Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean, Caribbean, South America. These two sections here this side and the back side are uh, North America. And uh, my wife and I, we did skits on the bus. We did a round the world cruise in 19, four months around the world on one cruise ship. And uh, come on around here. Here was our, uh, here was our yearly tour books we put out. You can see we started out small <laughs> and we got when we ended up we had 14,000 customers in our database out of Wichita Kansas that had either traveled with us or ordered a book here we have uh, Central America Middle East and this whole wall except for the maps is Europe and Mediterranean Like I say, I have 750,000 miles driving a tour bus all over the United States. So there are some of our stops. <laughs> Here's the countries we've been into. And this is our world map that we've been to all of these pins. 
these red pins are, are around the world too, or started in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Panama Canal, Hawaii. I see, I see we did, we don't have Papiette on there. We should have that marked on around. Uh, yeah, I, uh, there's 470 of these items on the wall. And I wrote these, uh, this bit of information about each one. Took a long time. Uh, my wife, you know, we were sitting at home with COVID, so had lots of spare time. She put 3,000 slides on here. They're all uh, marked, labeled. They're, most of them are off my Facebook page. But... Uh, if you'd watch them all, it takes seven hours. <laughs> we had one guy actually do it. My wife and I were both born here and lived you here. You grew up on a farm. Yeah, I was a city boy that had, was uh, my dad, we farmed in the country, but after I was married 20 years old, I moved to my uncle's farm out here three miles west of Bird and uh, farmed for 35 years decided we wanted to have some fun, sold our machinery, kept our farmland, and started driving a tour bus. Never dreamed we'd be going all over the world. Hi, I'm Joe Mishka of Rural Heritage Magazine. I'm on location of one of the many events we cover that celebrates our rural heritage. If you enjoy our show, check out our magazine, where you'll learn more about the people that blend the past with what works today. You can save almost 20% off the newsstand price by subscribing at ruralheritage.com or chat with us at 877-647-2452. That's toll free, 877-647-2452. probably when I was farming and <clears throat> now we're doing this full time. Did you get started just kind of by accident or? Yeah my wife and I built, bought a Belgian mare and it's been downhill ever since. <laughs> <laughs> you know how that is? Yeah right right. And we built a hitch wagon and I started showing and 
then we just started doing that out here full time. So this um, this break is is it yours? Did you do it for somebody else? It's ours. Uh huh. And do you have it's plans it's to sell it? Do you yeah, do these with for, the idea for say it's for it's sale? It's for sale. Yeah. Uh huh. And yeah. when you got it originally, was it in pretty poor shape or was oh, it? Oh no, we built this from scratch. It's it's all yours. Okay. The running gear too. Everything. No we, kidding. Wheels, the wheels and everything. everything. Yeah. And my son did all of the uh, metal work on it. Are you going to make another one? If somebody wants to buy one, I'll make another one. Okay. Do you, that's an awful lot of work. Are you going to get your money back out of it? Do you know what I mean? Well, if we can get 18000 we can go come out on it. Okay. All right. All right. It's a beautiful piece. He does all of the upholstery work on it, and I yeah. think it turned out just, I think it's a gorgeous piece. It really is. This would be for city driving. Yeah. Right. These were done originally in New York. If you had a lot of money and you wanted to take all your friends to watch the polo matches on a Sunday, you'd go down there and you'd be dressed up to the nines with the top hats and the big skirts. I can't imagine. And then you'd take your friends down there plus the help. You'd have a groom holding the horses out front, and probably a maid. This whole back end would lay down, and you'd pull boxes out that were lined with tin, and they'd have ice in them, and they'd have beer and probably champagne in there, and snacks, and have a picnic. Have a picnic and watch the polo match, and and you got your own seats. Yeah, a little bit of both. But no, this is brand new. Okay, we, everything on it's new. The running gear too? Yeah, we made a new running gear because Did you? everything's 42 inches and you, the okay. old ones you can't find. No, that's all brand new. Huh. Just a lot of hours to cutting all of that stuff and making all of it. Well, yeah. The iron is, some of the iron is, is old iron off of an old gear. Okay. All right. But, uh, and what will you do with this one? It's for sale? Yeah. It's for sale, yeah. We sold one just like it in Idaho for, uh, I think we got 21000 with the delivery, and uh, I'd like to sell this one. Have you been inside? Yeah, I walked inside earlier and shot some video in there. Yeah, it's very nice. It's really nice. Yeah. I like the way the stain turned out on this floor. Yep. And then this is all different, and this is all maple. Yeah, Silver it's nice maple. and warm. Yeah, it's real warm. Yeah. And it's it, it feels big. Well, it is. It's you don't feel big. crowded like sometimes you do. It's bigger than normal because okay. it's a seven foot. That's a queen size bed in there. Yeah. Right. And, uh, yeah, that would sleep nights. two people easy, very comfortable. We spent some nights in it. Well, sure. we spent. We slept in it when we took it to Glen Rock. <laughs>
Thanks for joining us today at Rural Heritage and RFD TV, where we borrow from yesterday to do the work of today. This program is available for purchase. To order your copy, please call 319-362-3027 or visit www.ruralheritage.com. Rural Heritage is a bi-monthly magazine dedicated to draft animal farming and logging, as well as other aspects of our rich rural heritage. It is published by Mishka Press, which also offers a complete line of back-to-the-land books, DVDs, and calendars. Call or write for a catalog or subscription information. Or visit our website at www.ruralheritage.com.